Hello everybody, Anthony is here and this video I just wanted to <coughs> show a quick and easy fix for mo a lot of most common bugs that happen in 3D code. So usually, like I have a bug right here, which is I find, when, for example, I have some brush in and I want to press a hotkey and um, for example, I'm pressing M and I want to jump into the hotkey. It jumps to the hotkey for one second, you can see here, but then jumps back and there are all kind of numerous bugs there that this particular method can fix like uh, inverted view viewport or something else i don't know there's all the kind of bizarre stuff can happen inside 3d code sometimes so the most uh, radical stuff you can do is to go into your documents so like users username documents and then delete uh, the 3d code folder all together so with all the um, stuff inside and it will just uh, will recreate it on the uh, other launch of this 3d code and kind of um, big it will wipe out all your settings, it might also wipe out your license, so you have to reinstall your license. Um, but yeah, that's a big fix for that. Smaller fixes, you go into inside this folder and then you go and delete just the options hotkey file. So in any case, you want to have a, some kind of backup for your default settings. For example, a backup for a hotkey, so you won't have to redo them all the time. So I do have that one. So I'll just press to delete this guy and uh, relaunch my 3d code to see what happens and nothing actually happens so i'll have to dump the whole folder i'll just only copy the textures uh, folder that i have here and and i have to delete the whole folder right here so for it to be able to recreate itself and reinstalling the 3d code won't really help so i have to just blast it all so now i open the 3d code it asks me for a license which i'll just type in and it no longer remembers any recent files here, so it's all pretty much totally clean. I'll have to load up my hotkeys. And I actually have like a folder called Recovery Essentials because every now and then you have to install software and all that. So I have my 3D code hotkeys right here and I load them up inside 3D code right now. And now I can switch between the tools easily and yeah, so Obviously, it's not something I want to do often. It doesn't happen to me that often, um, though it did happen to me twice this year. Uh, but yeah, that's essentially a fix that should help with most of your problems inside 3D code. I hope it does, and see you in the next video.